it's finally happened. It's cold and it's rainy and I think summer is over for the year for us. We may get a couple of nice days, but it's cold and it's rainy and it's fall where I live. And and so that gives me thoughts of going down south for the winter. And I know for the next few months, thousands and thousands of us people that live in the north, that live in the cold, snowbirds will escape their snowy cold winters to go somewhere warm. And so in today's video, I just want to talk about some lessons that I've learned being a snowbird and I'd love to hear from you if there's any other lessons that you have learned that will help anyone else in their snowbird journey. I'm Ellen Dabransky, this is Life Starts at Retirement, I produce a retirement lifestyle video every Monday morning. Now, the first thing that I've learned is to choose a place that reflects your lifestyle very carefully or reflects the lifestyle that you want to have. When we first started going down south, we couldn't go for long. It started, you know, two to three weeks at a time and then went to maybe five and six weeks. But we chose a place in Old Town Scottsdale where it was fun. It was exciting. We could walk to all these bars and restaurants. It was a party atmosphere and we loved it. It was just perfect for that stage of our lives. But now that we're able to go down longer, we've chosen just a little bit different. We're in a retirement community now because those are the types of things and and the types of, not types of people, but the people in the same stage of life as us and we'll have a lot in common with them. So we want to now be able to join clubs, go to group functions, they have concerts where we're going. It's an amazing retirement community. But choose your type of place that you want to go to wisely based on what you think you want your snowbird experience to be like. Number two, <clears throat> um, I would suggest don't go all in your first year, especially if you are going to buy something. If you're renting, that's a little bit different, but if you're going to buy something, I would recommend renting first to make sure that you like it, to make sure that these people in this community, in the place that you're going to reflect the values and, and there's enough for you to do and enough to keep you busy or enough for you to get away from. Whatever it is, make sure that you just take your time before you commit to the full, full experience of purchasing something. And then once you've found your right spot, book it again next year if you're um, renting, book it before you leave even this year and just get it because it's the perfect spot. And good rentals go quickly and they're very, very hard to find. So don't be worried about booking it for the next year if you found your perfect spot. Number three, I would suggest, um, I'm all about putting yourself out there. I want to meet new people. I want to have fun. I want to have experiences. If that's you as well, don't be, put yourself put yourself out there. Don't be shy. Try really hard to join a club and just show up and do the activity. Try really hard to meet people. Just talk to people. Everybody there in, in our community anyhow is in the same stage of life. They're all looking for the same things, some fun, some fulfillment, a sense of purpose. So put yourself out there and make new friends. And then don't be afraid to also keep in touch with your friends at home. Keep in touch with them. Make sure that you stay Stay connected because when you are back home, you'll want to keep those friends as well. Number four. This has really been a good one for us. Just go electronic with all your bills. And then if you're able to and feel comfortable, just set up the automatic payments as well. Now, um, depends on how much of a control freak you are. You may just want to have all your bills emailed to you. That's perfect. Although I know I can miss bills that way. And then also have your bills um automatic payments. They just come out of your bank account automatically. You never need to think about them. You can go have fun and, and, and enjoy your new life and enjoy your new friends. Number five, um, just be cautious about how much, how many visitors you do have. I know when we do have visitors and they're fun to have, um, but then you're playing the host, you're cooking, you're cleaning, you're making sure they have a good time and therefore your retirement lifestyle changes a bit. So just be cautious. I'm not saying don't do it. Just don't be a slave to doing that, those things, because then you're not enjoying your retirement. My dad always used to say, guests are like fish. You should throw them out after three days. <laughs> so just something to think about. Number six, don't be shy as well, especially if you're renting, to make your, your snowbirding home your home. Don't, don't put things on the walls or anything like that, but don't be scared to 
unpack your stuff. Leave your um, any toiletries, hair stuff on the counter and make sure it's there. And, you know, make it your home. Have your belongings with you and have a feeling of it's that it's yours. And I used to also, I had this um, nice picture that could sit on a, on a coffee table of our grandkids. And so when we'd get there, I'd unpack all my stuff, get my picture and put it on the coffee table. So there's a feeling of being at home. So that's just number six. And number seven, this one we're going to start enjoying now because we've always flown to where we're going. But for those that have, of you that drive or take your home with you in the form of an RV, take your time traveling back and forth. Mom and dad used to drive down to, take their RV down to Mexico every year. And they used to say part, the, almost the best part of it was taking their time. They'd take three or four weeks. They'd stop here and meet some people. They'd stop in Palm Springs. They'd stop in Arizona. Then they'd go further. And they loved it. Stop to see the places that are almost along the way even, where you go a little bit out of your way, visit some friends, visit some family that you rarely see. Stop and have some fun. Make this journey fun. It's easier on all of you if you have some fun as you go down. So I hope those tips help you a little bit if you're thinking about becoming a snowbird. If you already are, I would love to hear some more tips of what really made your snowbird adventure remarkable. I'm Maureen Dubransky. This is Life Starts at Retirement. Again, I produce a retirement lifestyle video every Monday morning. And please consider subscribing. It would be an honor. And also, we're, our Facebook group is growing where you can ask any retirement related question you want. It's at facebook.com slash group slash Life Starts at Retirement.